Hey guys, welcome to my weekly vlog. Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. I'm here to inspire you and let you know you have all the power within and you do have a choice. So today's topic is going to be about regrets. Now regrets only exist to what we give it meaning. I'm going to say it again. Regrets only exist to what we give it meaning to us or to you. So all of us have regrets out there from we didn't ask the girl to the prom or we didn't take that risk or a better, better business decision. Always wish we could have done things better. So before I hop into the story, I'm going to have you listen to a podcast. I do a friend of mine on regrets. And my regret is I wish I would have been a better father. So listen now. Story, you know, I'm, I'm an older man now, but I had kids at a very young age. And, you know, a lot of times I wish I can go back and, and change the fact and have kids at an at a older age versus a younger age. So you know, my, both my kids are 15 and 16. And it makes you wonder that at the time I had kids, what was it going through my mind? And, you know, I regret that, you know, I don't spend enough time with them. I regret that so many years have passed and I'm not there for them. But what, what I had at that time in my mind was I was trying to do the best thing I can. It was really hard being a young man having two boys. I have two boys, if I didn't say that earlier. And being that man that, not man, but being that person when they needed me the most. And you know what? Coming from a household when I was a kid, you know, the expressing love and, and care, it, it just wasn't that, that paramount. And I'm going to tell them that, you know what? I hope they forgive me for not being there. And I hope at the same time, this, let's get a better relationship we can have today so that I can able to change their lives in a much better way. Because at some point in time, you know, outside the clothes, the shoes, and the superficial things, you know, a lot of kids just need guidance and help. And how can I really help them be better in life as human beings, not just as men, but as a person overall? And I would tell them, look, you know, give me the chance I need today because I can teach you a lot of things in my experiences that I didn't teach you then. And when I hear you talk about your dad, it makes you wonder, you know, are my kids thinking the same thing right now? Or are they saying, well, I wish my dad was around more. Now, I'm not for sure your communication with your dad at, at that point. With my kids, at least I try now to communicate more than I did before. So it makes it a much better situation for me. Welcome back. Yes, that was a true, authentic podcast. Even though I didn't put the whole podcast there, it was about seven to eight minutes long, I will eventually post it on my website so all you guys listen to because I believe in being authentic and we all suffer from something. So let's talk about regrets again. Here's the thing. Most of us wish we made a better decision only in the present. Now, if I made a decision, let's say five years ago, 10 years ago, we had limited information. We had limited experience. Maybe we didn't have limited confidence. But in the present, we wish we can go back those five or 10 years and make a better decision. And what that really does, it only creates more suffering. Oh, I wish I would have done that better. I wish I'd do that. Well, let's put it like this. You're giving something meaning to what she wish you could have done better. And what that really means is that you had limited information at that time. You had limited confidence. You had limited experience. Now, if we wish we can go back those five or 10 years and change whatever happens, we never know a trajectory. We never know where it will land us. We would think if we can go back, change one thing, we'd be the same point we are now. No, we are where we are now because of experiences. We're all now because we have built confidence. We're all now here now because we made a change in our life. Maybe that regret was a change you didn't see happen to you. And that's why it only, regrets only exist to what we give it meaning. It's only you that must go back. You can't go back in time, but you can live in the present and make better decisions. And also at the same time, more importantly, forgive yourself. At that time, at that decision, you did the best thing you could with limited information, limited confidence, or limited experience. But be thankful you still are here. So welcome to another weekly vlog, and thank you for listening. And that, you know, I'm here to inspire you, let you have a choice, and you can be anything you can in this world.